Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. So as you know, there is the Reaper's Rewards Week 1 has just come out. And um, I haven't actually done my Reaper's Rewards challenges. So I thought maybe we could make like a small, like, um, like a little week weekly thing where I go through and I do the quests with you guys. And you know, it is as many videos as it will be. But anyways, that's just really what I want to do. Um, I didn't create the house. I just got it off the gallery. And this sim is somebody that I created a while ago. So I'm just going to use them for the save file. And then we can go from there. So anyways, I'm going to read this to you. It just says Reaper's Awards Week 1. It says, Psst, hey you, over the centuries my memory has started to grow foggy. I've heard rumblings about a special disc called Ambrosia that could jeopardize my job. Plead the assistant to the Grim Reaper and a call away quest to help me understand it. So, what we have to do is we have to ask three sims about Ambrosia, order a starter flower seed packet for this quest, and the other one we have to wait for the Ambrosia Society newsletter by the Grimophone and ask the spirits about Ambrosia. So the first thing we can do is we can purchase a starter flower seed packet right from this. Um, and I'm playing this with no, um, no mods in, by the way. Um, so now it says to plant, let's open this. This is to plant a lily and a snapdragon. Yeah, she likes gardening. Ooh, we can, we can claim a reward already. We can, this reward is claimable. What is it? What is this? Claim. What is that? Gardening volume one, water, light, and dirt. Okay. Okay. So we need to plant a snapdragon and a lily, but you know what? We got a daisy too. So let's go ahead and just slap that in there too. All right. Let's go ahead and get these planted. I did make her, um, a freelance botanist. Um, so I thought that would be a good aspiration for her to have. Just because if we're going to be, you know, if we're going to be gardening quite a bit, then this would be a good idea. And like I said, I did get this house off the gallery, oh, so I didn't man, build it. So no. please don't give credit to me. If you guys need a, um, a name of who to look for, I can just leave a comment and I'll give you guys the, the link in the, or the name in the description, or the comments. Oh my goodness. Now we have to research Ambrosia on the phone, tablet, or computer. Well, we do have a computer inside, so let's let her go ahead and use that, I guess. Um, research Ambrosia. We just got to plant that lily, which we're doing. Mm. Now it says research a plant. So after we research Ambrosia on the computer, we can go back in and we can, and we can research a plant in here. Right? Can't you research a plant? Ooh, we can unlock another thing? What's this? Whoa, this is kind of cool with the, like, ghost. Whoa, we're close to that. Okay, claim that. Nice. What's that? Original freezer bony. <laughs> okay. I'm not quite sure what it is, but we'll go with it. It's just want to level up in the gardening skill. Can we research one of these? Oh, we can harvest these. All right, let's harvest all. And can we research these? Oh. Oh, she needs to be level two in gardening. Okay. By the way, my Sim's name is Jasmine Benson. And her traits are high maintenance, overachiever, maker, ah. also a collector, and amuser. So that's kind of cool. And then she obviously just pulled that she likes gardening, of course. Which is fantastic, because that's what we're going to be spending a lot of our time oh. working on. We're waiting for the Ambrosia Society newsletter. I think it comes in the mail. Oh, you can expedite it. But I don't really want to spend 130 simoleons. We have plenty of time to wait. We'll just wait. We're busy doing the other one at the moment anyway, so we're, we're fine. 
Ambrosia is a gourmet dish that can bring a loved one back to life. It is difficult to make and requires three rare ingredients. If you want to learn more, be sure to read the Ambrosia Society newsletter. Oop. Oh, what's this? Let's claim that. What was that? Welcome to the neighborhood. Oh, we got to level two. Yay. So now we can research one of these. Oh, and you know what? We need to actually invite all these people in. Um, invite your neighbors in. Because if we invite the neighbors oh. in, then we can ask three sims about ambrosia, and then we'll get that done. We also need to research that plant. So we will do that. <laughs> Where's that thing that we got? Where'd that go? Did that, like, go into our household inventory or something? Ask about the ambrosia. Make sure you know how to fish. You'll need it if you want to make ambrosia. Okay, so we need to do fishing. Weed a plant. Spray a plant. Is this the only person that came? Well, that's kind of nice that we need to go fishing. It's right down the hill from where we already live. So, pretty perfect. Is there anyone else around here that we could ask about ambrosia to? Or... We're living in Copperdale, by the way. I didn't really know where to to place this at the moment. I just kind of picked the town that I haven't lived in a lot and just went, okay, this looks good. Who's this? Okay, let's, um, friendly introduction. Welcome to Copperdale. I'd love to give you advice about the cool things to do around here, like hitting up Plumbite Pier. Do you mind if I check over the next few days to see how you're settling in? Sounds good. All right, and then we also want to do a friendly introduction to him because we're trying to obviously introduce ourselves. Oh, wait, there's somebody here. Wait, 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 friendly, friendly introduction. I didn't realize anyone else is here. Wow, okay, well, he just went deuce. I gotta go. Okay. I think that's her husband, right? Marcel. Whoa, why do we have, like, a second bar with him? Ask what ambrosia. I've heard that you need to have mastered the cooking and gourmet cooking skills. Holy moly, okay. Well, that's a lot of work. That's three skills that we need to do now. We need to do fishing, we need to do cooking, and we need to do gourmet cooking. Okay, well, let's go to give a friendly introduction to Mila. Because we have to ask one more person about Ambrosia, and this will be a good time to do that. So unless she, is she coming over here to us? Oh, she's coming over here to us. That's very nice of her. Come on. No, 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 no. We're we're talking. Uh -huh. We're talking. We got things to ask you, lady. Just in case she tries to run away again. You know how the Sims do. <laughs> Always trying to run away. Come on, Eli, get over here. Oh, wow, she literally introduced herself from way over there. All right, well. Come on. There she is. Okay, finally. What do you have to say about ambrosia? Ambrosia? I'm not sure how to make it, but I would love to learn and bring a ghost back to life. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, let's have her come over here and research one of these. I think she can research this one. Alright, let's go ahead and research that. We can stop talking. How what do we have to do for this one? Oh, we're waiting for that ambrosia society newsletter to come at the moment and also we should have her try the fruitcake every sim needs to take a piece of the fruitcake and try it and see what they think oh kids oh speed up while she's just researching this ha 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 
Assistant to the Grim Reaper. Great, you've scratched the surface about Ambrosia, but this is just the beginning. I need more details. So we got some event, event points. It says keep nurturing your garden. <laughs> oh, she got to level three. Okay. Um, We need to buy the Grimophone. Claim the Grimophone reward from the event and buy it from build mode in the electronics category. Can we do that yet? Hold on. Oh, nice. We can claim this. Cooking volume one. Let's cook. Two rewards claimed. That and the earrings of imminent demise. I love how they use Cassandra for the picture. But that is pretty cool earrings. We could put those on. All right, let's see if we can get this um, gramophone. Let's see, it says it's under the electronics category. Gramophone. Is this it? <gasps> Ooh, we do have it. 655? Holy schmokerinos. Okay, um, where can we put this? Ooh, we can put it in the corner. Okay, let's put it in the corner. Summon the Grim Reaper. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Ask the spirits about Ambrosia. Meet or socialize with the Grim Reaper. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Whoa, we can summon the Grim Reaper now. That's interesting. This item will be in our game forever. So now we'll be able to summon the Grim Reaper whenever we want. That's kind of creepy. He's literally bored. You literally just got here, dude, and you're already bored. What is this? What is that? Energize potion. Okay, ask the spirits about Ambrosia. Select ask the spirits about Ambrosia on a seance table. We need a freaking seance table. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, use the potty because you really do gotta go. Did she like the fruitcake? Oh, she did. She loved it. Oh, he's complaining. Oh. <laughs> he's having a rough day. Everyone's summoning him today. Smurgs Unga. Loonies, Gelsi, Nepa. Okay, Bunch leave him be. Navi scances, Domi Vayen. Where am I going to put a seance table? What would happen if you didn't have that pack? Oh god, that's creepy. You just like leaving a trail behind him. Okay, we need to get a seance table. I don't even remember how to spell this word. It's very odd. S C A. I think it's E A N C E table. No, that's not it. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Why can't I spell it? Um, S E A N C. I was close. I put a C. S E A Ooh. N. Okay. So, oh my god, this is a three by three. Hmm. I could put it in here. Where am I going to put this? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's put this here. Since we need a seance table, let's go ahead and take this one. And let's take the chairs from the kitchen. 
I like these really awful chairs. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, okay. So now we have to do what? Ask the spirits about ambrosia. Swars, yes, and arf. You get it, girl. You get it. Palingo, Arnarb, Fabine, Bivas. Mm hmm. Yermish, Palingo, Zilni, a Farash. Yermish, Palingo. Harnarb Palingo Harnarb Yermish. We asking them? Okay. Oh Slefinush. Oh. Oh, Inchime. Whoa, that was kinda creepy. Okay, so this is Ambrosia. Will you share? This is sure to help you in your quest. Start growing your garden. Plant a snapdragon, apple tree, and cherry tree. Okay. <laughs> um. So on this lot, this might be kind of cheaty, but it already has a cherry tree. Cherry tree. So all we would have to get is an apple tree and a snapdragon. Didn't they give us snapdragons or daisies, lilies, and yeah, snapdragon. So we have already got the snapdragon going. So we don't really have too much to worry about at this point. We just need to wait for the um, Ambrosia Society newsletter to kind of show up. Um, I think you. I think it has to be the next morning. So. I might have to cut out while we just wait for her to pretty much get her mail. But, um, yeah. We'll see how this goes. Um, you guys will have to let me know how you guys are doing on yours. If you guys find it easy. If you guys are enjoying it. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comment section below for Sherzies. And to, um, yeah, see what you guys are thinking about it so far. Was this chat with him? We can also put this away and so we got a cooking volume and a gardening volume we could probably just stick these in here on the shelf we don't really have a bookshelf so we'll just stick them here like I don't know like we need to have a bookshelf or something I don't know oh this is also a radio oh that's cool okay so it's it's a radio and you can summon the Grim Reaper on it so that's good to know. Just cleaning up a bit. Oh, is Grim Reaper... Oh, we do have a bookshelf. I didn't know that. Grim Reaper is just cleaning up for me. Well, what a sweet guy. <laughs> what a sweet guy. Alright, so what do we need to do for our needs? Nothing really. So I think what I'll do is I will pause the recording and come back once the um, Ambrosia Society newsletter is here. Obviously, we're going to need this week... Or during this challenge, this um, event, we're going to need to really be level up her cooking and gourmet cooking. But I'm going to try and do most of it on camera with you guys or like show it little bits and pieces, bobs of progress. So I'm going to do it until, I'm going to do whatever I have to do until the challenge, like uh, these events for the week are done. And then what I'm going to do is... Once they're done, I won't play The Sim anymore, and then we'll catch up and do, like, what we need to do from then on out. Um, just in case, you know, we shouldn't be surpassing any particular thing. I don't think it's going to be like, oh, you can't be above this certain level in this, you know, skill. But I just think it's, it's kind of fun to see, like, The Sims, you know, grow and... And I want to do the event kind of with you guys. And I think this is just kind of a really nice way to kind of do that. So, yeah. 
I just have it a conversation with him right from here. Let's see if we can take a picture with him for the cover photo. That would just be hilarious. So let's just see. Can we take a selfie with him? No, don't take a no, I don't want to take a photo of him. I want to take a photo with him. Uh, there's no s known sims around to photograph. Okay, well, I guess we need to kind of make a form of friendship with him, so. Give him a hug. Oh, not romance. Um, joke about politicians. Oh. Oh. Well. He was like, deuces. She's all embarrassed now. Mm, goodness. All right, well, hello? <laughs> I'm just gonna have her go ahead and just finish out her night, and then once we get this Ambrosia Society newsletter in the mail, I will go ahead and um, come back with you guys so that we can see that together. Oh, wait, that is it, right there. That was it, oh my goodness, okay. Well, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> get the bail. Um, oh wow, we get we're already here? Holy moly, we're getting so much today. What is this? What is that? What was that? It doesn't even tell you what it is. Like, hello? Alright, well we got some like earrings and stuff that we can put on. So we need to read the newsletter. I guess I just need to be a little bit more patient. Okay, so we've collected it, so let's go ahead and read this. Okay, so it says, Welcome to our latest series, where we guide you through the process of cooking ambrosia. If you have your Snapdragon planted, then the next step is to work on your cooking and gardening skills. The best way to go to do this is to feed your garden and yourself. Okay, cook a recipe while level 3 or higher in cooking. Okay, well, um, wow, okay. Um, let's go ahead and have her serve dinner then. Let's have her serve up some macaroni and cheese. This'll be fine. It's, I don't think it takes too long to level these skills. Alright, well, we got the cooking skill, so we're going up to level two now. All right, grab a serving, because you're kind of hungry anyways. And then we'll have you put it away. And then we'll serve up some breakfast. So then we'll cook up some, hmm. Let's cook up some eggs and toast for the morning. Why did she so upset? Worst day ever and waste of time. Okay. Well, I just think she's overreacting at this point. Oh, what did she want to do? She wants to chat with Morgan? Okay. <gasps> Friendly, small talk. I'm gonna get to know Morgan a bit. Sorry, so go. Yes. She also wants to skill up a bit, which is good. Uh, now. We're almost level two. There we go. Now we can make BLT, chips and salsa, fish tacos, eggs and toast. I should also learn a new combo trick. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that away. And then let's serve up something else. Let's make. Hmm. What did she just learn to make? I don't even remember. Fish tacos is one of them. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do fish tacos. What does she want to do? Become friends with Morgan. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, we can totally become friends with Morgan. I invite you to join our cooking. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. I invited you, but you just don't want to. Okay. 
I tried. Making some fish tacos. <gasps> so can we just constantly, oh, we can just constantly summon the Grim Reaper. That's interesting. All right, go ahead and put that away. And then we're gonna cook up one more thing. If it goes bad, it's okay. It's not a big deal, you know. Um, let's see. So we need um, that. We made eggs and toast. Let's make up some fruit salad, maybe. We'll make a party size and see if that gets us to the top. Cooking. We're at 62%. This might not do it. That's okay, though. That is okay. This got us up to 80-something now. Okay, let's go ahead and put that away. I'm going to let her turn this off and go to sleep. And then in the morning, we'll have her eat and start her trek to getting the next part of this done. So I will be back when she's getting up in the morning. I'll be back in just a second. All right, so I've gotten her up. She is fully taken care of needs wise. We're gonna go ahead and make some um, bake eggs and bacon. Okay, and now we are we've reached level three and she learned the recipes are pan fried tilapia, chocolate chip cookies, and pancakes. She can also talk about cooking with other Sims. So now it says cook a recipe while level three or higher. You'll need to know how to cook to make ambrosia level up your cooking skill at the fridge, stove, or even a TV, then cook a recipe. Okay, so we're level three or higher, so I wonder if this will count since we started it before we were level two, or level three, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Does this count? It does. Okay, so that was it, actually. It says, with that grimophone, you can summon me whenever you need. Just don't do it too often. Traveling to this realm can be exhausting. Keep working on your cooking and gardening skills is what it keeps saying. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this away. And now when we click on this, it says all quests are completed. And we can go ahead and claim the last reward here. So all of the quests have been done. What is this? Scare Seeker Lot Trait. Lots with this challenge fill Sims with Eldrith excitement and attract other Sims looking for a ghoulishly good time. That's interesting. We should put that on. And we should also put on the new earrings for her. And um, yeah, what was this? Um, a happy potion. Okay, so let's put on a new trait. So the new trait is the Scare Seeker Lot Challenge. So let's go ahead and slap that on for us. Um, scare Seeker. It says there's something in the air here that fills you with eldritch excitement and attracts Sims looking for a ghoulishly good time. Okay, let's see what happens with this. Okay, so we're started on getting closer to the next thing, which is the... Um, the pants it looks like which is kind of interesting oh I didn't mean to click that sorry all right so people are gonna show up or like what's gonna happen here Look, while I'm waiting I'm just gonna go ahead and have her oh Ash is calling hi just me again now that you've settled in have you joined your after-school activities there's a bunch of them like cheerleading and football depending on what you're into. Also, you might want to check out Plum Bike Cove. There are fun rides on the pier and it's a cool place to hang out. Good advice. Okay, so I think while we're just finishing this up, let's spray for bugs, harvest all, and water all, and we can weed as well. This will get some of the gardening stuff done that we have to do. This is interesting. I did. I expected it to be login rewards, so it's interesting that we're doing like a whole quest line. Um, and so far, I'm enjoying it. I do like the questing part of this. Um, sometimes I feel like Sims 4 could really benefit from some more of these events, especially the ones that do have the quests to them. Because let's be honest, um, Sims 4 lacks in in-depth gameplay. Um, I'm a bit of a weird place right now. Do you mind if I come crash through for a while? I promise I won't take up too much room. I just need to get away for a bit. 
We don't really know you like that. Um, anyways, so yeah, I think this is kind of cool and I think it'll be really cool to kind of see what the outcome of this is. It's interesting that like Grim is needing some help from us and so we are able to kind of summon him and kind of do what we got to do. Once again, I'm asking for your support for the f no, I don't vote. <laughs> I don't vote. Get out of here. Um, anyways, so I think it's cool that we can summon him now, and I kind of hope that once you unlock it in one save file, it's not going to be like the bunny rabbit thing where you can't like unlock it later on because it's like a quick, a timed thing. I kind of just hope it's like your whole account gets it, you know what I'm saying? Naoki, Ido, and I are planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? Go for it. Anyways, so I think that would be really, really cool. I wish there was a way to turn off those stupid texts where people like ask you what they should or shouldn't do. I just kind of hate it. I just wish they would go and do their own thing and just leave me alone. You know what I mean? I don't want to predict your life. Like, I just literally want you to just leave me out of it, you know? Anyways, so that's why I'll go ahead and leave it here with um, Jasmine. I think it was very fun to check this out with you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that if you guys were confused about any of it, I was able to clarify any of it that you weren't quite sure about. Um, obviously, it does tell you pretty much how to do everything if you just hover over it in the um, the thingy. But, you know, if you don't have a seance table, then that's why you couldn't do that part. You don't have that pack or whatever. I don't know if they came to base game or whatever happened there. I'm not quite sure. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking about it so far. If you guys are enjoying it, if you like the rewards, if you think the rewards are awful. I am all ears. I want to hear what you guys think so far. And like I said, I am kind of enjoying it because it's giving me something different to do and um, giving me something kind of to look forward to when it comes to The Sims 4. So anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the description below is all of my social media links, so definitely check those out. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below also with anything you have to say about the event so far. And, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys in my very next one. Thanks very much for watching.